This space is really what this home is all about. It's about connectedness and coming together. We've got this beautiful kitchen seamlessly integrating with the dining area and then flowing on outdoor entertaining area. It's just a beautiful space to be, flooded with natural light. And boy, does this kitchen pack a punch. It's got lots of beautiful materials. So the concrete bench top is from Concrete Nation in green stone and we worked really hard to match it with our joinery. So we originally started with Hames Wilderness was the colour, but then we had to tweak it slightly to get it to match this beautiful bench top. And of course we've got our stunning flapjack handles again from Interior, which are just beautiful little introduction of oak and you can see we've included that oak trim detail through here as well. It's all about the oak in this space. And of course we've got our custom shelving from Lachlan Furniture up there as well. And we've brought the textural tiles in again, the Trabada from Earp, with the white matte glaze on it. It's just so tactile and lovely in this space. And of course it's all about cooking in a kitchen, isn't it? And we've got Fisher & Paykel appliances throughout the kitchen as we do in a lot of our kitchens because we just love them. Um, and this is their freestanding cooker, which has the gas cooktop and then a beautiful electric oven. Perfect for big meals and lots of entertaining. Around here on the island, you can see they've formed this piece just in one amazing big concrete slab. It's got an actual concrete sink, oversized concrete sink with the drainer and these beautiful curves that we keep repeating throughout the home. And you can see this beautiful battening detail that were done by the joiners as well. We've got a few little secret spots in the house that we really love. One of them is this appliance cupboard. We always like to do appliance cupboards. It's just nice to have everything tucked away. But this one's a bit extra special. You can see we've got it fully kitted out. This really is a chef's kitchen. So we've got our beautiful coffee maker. We've got Cuisinart toaster. We've got grills, griddles, sandwich makers, waffle makers, ice cream maker. Please, sorbet in that. Yes, thank you. Um, we've got slow cookers, we've even got the Cuisinart mixer. So it really is, I think that can make pasta. It really is set up for a chef. And that's one of the things that we want to offer in this house is private chef experience. Who wouldn't want that? I want that. Of course, we've got the brand new four door, French door fridge from Fisher & Paykel, which we absolutely love. It's a really clever fridge. Their French door is their biggest seller and we like that it's now in a four door. So one of the things that's really important when you're entertaining, of course, is your tapware. And we've got this very clever little tap working hard for us here. It's the Billy Quadra. It's a multi-use tap, so it has boiling, chilled, filtered water and sparkling. And pretty much the sparkling is everybody's favourite. We've got the beautiful Roger Cellar Arc Mixer, which goes perfectly with this large sink as well. And this island's working quite hard for us. We've actually got the big pull-out bins, of course, which every kitchen needs. We've got a little hidden sneaky drawer. And then you go across to, I think, one of our favourite products, which is the double dish drawers from Fisher & Paykel. Love that they get hidden away. So it's a really hardworking kitchen and it connects really beautifully to that entertaining space. And we love that people can sit around this island and it's very conversational. We can, you know, you can be in the kitchen cooking and you've got everybody right here with you. So this is the kitchen space. Let's have a look at the living room. So one of the things that's really important to us when we're creating these big sort of family oriented homes and homes that are really good for entertaining is to have a connected living space with the kitchen and dining. It just means that you can congregate together, you can all be you know milling around while people are cooking and it's just such a lovely space to be and let's face it when you're with family everyone wants to be around you. So we used a couple of key elements in this space just to be um, I guess strong design features that would carry throughout the home and some of these decisions have really then you know flown on to actually dictate some of our choices in other spaces which you'll notice a little bit later on but you'll see that again we've used that gorgeous textured render coat paint from Hames um, in this space and it's just you can see the light streaming in here now it just hits it it's just such a lovely textural tactile thing in the space it really makes things feel warm and then speaking of warm our beautiful sculptural fireplace from Aurora Suspended Fireplaces. It actually 
swivels, although, oh yes, I can make it swivel. This is the hearth from their range. They've got a couple of pieces now in their range and this is the hearth, which is one of our favorites. And I think I might've even mentioned before in one of the videos, you can actually even cook pizzas on this thing. So it's, it's pretty amazing. We've got our wood stacker beside it as well. So one of the other things uh, that was important in here, we've got a lot of windows in this space and we used Trend for all of our windows and used lots of different windows depending on their purpose in the space. With these ones, it was really just about airflow and obviously light. We've got neighbors, so we needed privacy. So we used high privacy lights, uh, sorry, high privacy windows in the space. But obviously, you know, if you're not a tall person, they can be really hard to undo. So we've actually automated all these. And coming through here, we've got one of our key design features, which has actually been repeated through the house and it's that tones of terracotta and it's the earthiness. It's all of those concretes and the greens and the terracottas that for us really, you know, spoke to that Australian kind of lifestyle and the bush combination with coastal. It's, it's just all of those colors and textures. And it's a lovely reference to the tile that we saw in the kitchen. It's got that same beautiful elongated shape and it just gave us the ability to create a really special wall to house our lovely Hisense TV in the wall, which sort of seamlessly fits into that space. And it just really allows us to connect back to the rest of the house and all those beautiful tones. And it's very tactile too. So decorating in a dining area is not something really that you think about, but it is really important because all of the little touches and the little elements that you, you bring help to make a house feel cohesive or not. And so here in the, the dining in the kitchen, we work really hard to repeat tones and repeat textures and all those things. But one of the big pieces in the dining area is obviously this beautiful MCM table, which you might remember from a couple of projects gone by. And I think originally it was oak in one of my houses, then we moved to another house and I made my poor long suffering hubby paint it black and now uh, made him sand it again but it just needed to bring in that oak element again and it needed to lift a little bit and lighten the space so we've got the beautiful black chairs from Kosh which just you know tying with the black there's a lot of black on the exterior with the eco timber cladding and there's black in the trend doors so we've got little hints of black but we didn't want it to feel too heavy in this space so we've just used them fairly lightly so you can see even up in the lighting, the Olo lights from Soctus, we actually chose the black base, just to, again, it's just those common threads of the black. The other thing in here, which is really lovely, is our frog stools, which are probably one of my favorite stools. They're just so comfortable to sit on. They come in all sorts of colors, but we actually love the tone of the walnut. It kind of ties through to the terracotta and the leather in the other spaces. And it's also a reused product because you might remember these from our Ahana house. I've obviously got a house with no furniture back at home. One of the other things you can see on the shelves is, of course, my love of ceramics, which I've talked about a lot. And uh, they're really a bit of a combination. So there's a few funny little collectibles. We've got this lovely piece that I picked up the other day from Nikau, which is just in town. This guy was a bit of a roadside find. We've got a few other Nikau pieces in there. And then our Pendai cups, which I think we sell online. So you've probably seen those before. And then we've got a few other nice textural pieces. And sometimes it is just about using your decorating to bring in the texture and the layering. And these gorgeous cups from Robert Gordon did just the trick. They're in the drawer because, you know, we've got something else on the shelf. The other thing that we do a lot in, in styling and, and decorating is just the, the layering and the, and the different depths. And we've used a lo lovely little piece of artwork, which was actually given to me by my father and stepmother. And it's kind of traveled with me in lots of places. So the decorating still really is about bringing together pieces that you've had for a long time, along with some new pieces some textural bits and making sure that all the tones just flow the whole way through. It just makes this space feel really homey and it's definitely you know, tying through to the rest of the house, which was what was really important to us. So the hero in any space is super important when it comes to decorating. And this couch is definitely the hero of this lounge room. It is ridiculously comfortable. We actually created it. It's a custom couch that was made with Project 82 and we worked with Shelley and the designer Cameron Fogo to come up with a design specific for this space. It had to be comfy, which it is, and it had to be durable, which, you know, most people think of leather as not being durable, but 
It actually is and it weathers over time and it just has that beautiful patina and I can't wait to see this guy in another 10 years. It should still be around, I think. But it, the design of it was really about connecting the two spaces. So they created this beautiful space that doesn't have a back to it, which really allows it to connect to that dining space. It's just a really beautiful piece. It allows for conversation and entertaining and that's what this space is all about. And the leather itself is a stunning anline leather, which was from, from InStyle and it really just gives it something else. It's just got such a soft buttery feel to it. We loved working with Project 82 to create this. We actually got a few other pieces from them as well in this space. Um, the beautiful Margot chair, which is a lovely chair for a cup of tea. Um, and just another little sitting spot and again allowing conversation and people to flow in the space. We've got a gorgeous piece from Lachlan Furniture. Again, we were mentioning that they are doing furniture now as well. And this little guy's coffee table is from them, which is a lovely addition to the space. And you'll see throughout the home, we've used a lot of pots. I'm a bit obsessed with greenery. I think it just brings the entire space to life. And especially when you're you know, in a home and it's all about the indoor and outdoors and we've got that Australian and natural materials thing going on. There's plants everywhere in this house. The cleaners are gonna hate us. But these beautiful pots and plants came from Balcony Garden and we're loving the collection of pots in the home. The rug on the floor is a really interesting rug. It's super textural and it's from a range that we actually hold online in the online store. It's from Tribe and it's called Mongolia. It's from one of their new collections and it's really beautiful. And I think the other hero in the space, and you know, maybe you can have two heroes, but the other hero in the space is definitely this beautiful piece from Cara Rosenland. It's from her new collection, it's called Seaweed Pearls, and we absolutely love it. <laughs>